In the image on the right, we see a fairly innocuous fracture, the result of a kick injury. In the image on the right, we see a much more potentially severe fracture of the more distal aspect of the radius of a different horse, which had also sustained a kick injury. In the picture on the left, we can see that there is distension of the proximolateral outpouching of the carpal sheath in the right forelimb, highlighted by the yellow arrow. This horse showed a moderate grade five out of eight right forelimb lameness, which was accentuated by carpal flexion. The reason for this swelling was injury of the musculotendinous junction of the deep digital flexor muscle. The left forelimb is to the left and the right forelimb is to the right. And we can see that there is significant enlargement of the musculotendinous junction on the right side compared with the left. And we can also see areas of hyper-echogenicity representing fibrosis within the muscle tissue highlighted by the two yellow arrows. In the horse on the right, we have swelling over the medial aspect of the carpus, which coincides with the medial collateral ligament of the carpus. This horse had a sudden onset severe lameness of the left forelimb. Ultrasonographic evaluation revealed significant enlargement of the left front co medial collateral ligament of the carpus compared with the right front. The left front images are on the left and the right front on the right. In this horse, we have got massive enlargement of the tendon sheath of extensor carpi radialis. Not only is the sheath enlarged, it is very firm on palpation and ultrasonographic evaluation revealed that the tendon of extensor carpi radialis was substantially enlarged, highlighted by the small arrows. The tendon is heterogeneous in echogenicity with large anechogenic areas. There is evidence of adhesion formation highlighted by the uh, thick yellow arrow between the tendon sheath wall and the tendon itself. And the sheath wall itself is very thickened, highlighted by the double uh, headed arrow. This was the appearance at surgery of the mass, which was formerly the, the extensor carpi radialis tendon. This horse has swelling on the dorsolateral aspect of the right carpus, which coincided with the lateral digital extensor tendon. The tendon felt relatively enlarged throughout its length, and there was localized heat and pain on palpation. The ultrasonographic images are from proximal to distal, and we can see that the tendon is enlarged. It is heterogeneous in its echogenicity, and the tendon sheath wall is also thickened. This horse has more diffuse soft tissue swelling on the dorsal aspect of the carpus. And ultrasonographic evaluation confirmed that this was a subcutaneous abscess, which contained anechogenic fluid, within which was a, were hyperechogenic foci, which represented thorns. So the double-headed arrows represent the walls of the abscess, surrounding anechogenic or black fluid, and the single arrow represents one of the hyper-echogenic foci, which was a thorn. The swelling highlighted by the small yellow arrow is a synovial hernia from the antibrachiocarpal joint. 